Teresa LaBarbera, and you are watching Connecticut Style. Coming up, Old Blue Eyes, Frank Sinatra is by far one of America's greatest icons. He was adored by fans everywhere, but offstage, he valued his privacy more than most people know. In the book, Sinatra and Me, The Very Good Years, his closest confidant, the late Tony Consiglio, tells the story. We'll talk to the man that interviewed Tony, Pulitzer Prize-nominated author Franz Dusky. And cooking with love, comfort food that hugs you. I recently spoke with Carla Hall about the inspiration behind her new cookbook. And I'm here in the kitchen with cooking instructor Heidi Lang. Heidi, we're getting Hi ready there. for Thanksgiving, are aren't we? We certainly are. It's right around the corner. It what is. are we making today? We are making the coziest pumpkin soup ever. I love that. It has cinnamon and a little cayenne and shallots and onions. And the color is just beautiful. I feel like it would be a great appetizer. Oh, it right? would be a great starter or a great appetizer when, you, when your guests first come to sit down at the table. We'll just warm their soul and get them ready for the, the, uh, the meal ahead. Very good. All right, Heidi, let's start the show. Look right into camera two. Tell everyone what they need to do. So sit back, relax. You're having lunch with Connecticut Style. When you have a family, you want to be smart about spending money. These days, you want to be brilliant. The smartest thing we did was call Amica for car insurance. They really took the time to get to know us and get the coverage right. And their quote was less than what we were paying. And they found all these discounts, too. We saved even more by getting auto, home, and life together. It was a smart call. It was a genius call. <laughs> you could save hundreds with Amica Auto Insurance. Call for a free quote now. Options are great, right? Because when you have good options, you get exactly what you need. That's why I switched to Amica for car insurance. They really listened when I called. And they explained all of these options that were perfect for me. Like they have a reward program for good driving, accident forgiveness. They even have identity fraud protection. So I got the right coverage. And I saved money, which is my favorite option. You could save hundreds with Amica Auto Insurance. Call for a free quote now. have loved sharing delicious meals made with Hood Sour Cream for more than 160 years. They know they're sharing the best because they love Hood's rich, creamy taste. And love that it's all natural with no artificial ingredients or preservatives. So share some smiles with all natural Hood Sour Cream. Always good. Always Hood. As we all know, Frank Sinatra was an American icon. He sold more than 150 million albums and won 11 Grammy Awards. But off the stage, he fiercely guarded his privacy. Not many people were allowed in his inner circle. But one New Haven man knew him better than anyone. In the book, Sinatra and Me, The Very Good Years, the late Tony Consiglio told the story of their incredible friendship. He told that story to winning award-winning writer Franz Dusky, who is on the show today. Franz, thank you so much for being here. Interesting stuff. Teresa, thank you for having me on. Uh, so, if Frank Sinatra was alive today, how old would he be? Um, he would be 96. You're full of a lot of stories, 90, right? 97 in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, Tony Consiglio was very well known in New Haven. He passed away back in 2008. Mm -hmm. uh, he helped run Sally's. That's right. He established Sally's with his brother, Salvatore. Okay. And the reason it's called Sally's is because Tony was younger than Sally, and Sally was old enough to get a beer and cider permit, so ah, it got to be Sally's. Got it. Now, how did you become friends with Tony? Well, that was just uh, accidental. I used to go to Sally's restaurant, still do, quite a lot. One Sunday afternoon, Ruthie was on the phone. Then she came over to me and said, Franz, uh, my uncle's on the phone. And I had heard a lot about Tony, and there are photos of Tony with Frank mm -hmm. and uh, Joe Kennedy and a whole bunch of people at the restaurant. And so I got on the phone, and Tony said, uh, I said hello, and Tony said, hey, Ruthie says you're all right, which meant I passed some kind of standard. So they trusted you. So I could you. be trusted, right. Because Tony never really talked about Frank mm -mm. at all. No, even though uh, a number of writers had sent him checks and, and said they wanted him to uh, work with them on the book, mm -hmm. but uh, Tony never did. He'd sent the ch he sent the checks back. So what happened? Uh, you went yeah. over there. They invited you over. You were going to chat. Yeah, I was going to have a brief talk. It was the following Tuesday, 
And uh, I thought I might stay there an hour, hour and a half, and it turned out we stayed, I stayed there four and a half hours. And Tony kept bringing out all these incredible photos that no one had ever seen before. Tony with uh, Martin and Lewis and Pierre Salinger and Tony Bennett and uh, you, uh, you name it. Uh -huh. And uh, I was just amazed. And then we started talking. And I said, well, Tony, uh, here's how I work. I interview people. I do it on a recorder, I type it up, and then I give it back to the person. They can say, hey, this is what I meant. You didn't get it right. Or That's great. You, you give them a second chance to kind of fix anything they might not have wanted oh, to say. Absolutely, because I don't want any problem. I don't want any headaches. Sure. And I'm not out to hurt anybody to expose them. Sure. Or I want it right. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Frank, because you learned, we saw him in the spotlight, but he was actually kind of a private guy. Very, yeah, very. Uh, very private. He, I mean, he liked partying with his friends, mm -hmm. uh, whether it was Sammy, Peter, Dean, uh, Shirley MacLaine uh, was part of that whole thing. And if we looked back far enough, it would be Ernie Kovacs, of course, and Edie, mm -hmm. uh, Edie Adams. Uh, yeah, uh, but other than that, he really liked to control his situation. In other words, even when he went out to a restaurant, he would have Tony go the, to that particular restaurant early in the day to find out what is there another way we can get out of here without going oh. through the main re, uh, entrance if there's a if there's a crowd sure. so he was, he really liked to control his privacy and what did tony tell you about other of the uh, any other famous people that uh, he might have hung out with <laughs> oh well i mean where do we start uh, grace <laughs> kelly prince rainier uh, uh, as i mentioned he was with joe kennedy the night of, at, uh, at the Kennedy compound in Hyannisport the night of uh, Kennedy's election in November of 1960. And Tony said the, the, it was decided when Chicago came in for Kennedy and that gave him Illinois. Tony said, Mr. Kennedy, how are we going to know? No one's going to know I was here, so could we take a picture? So in our book, mm -hmm. we have a picture of uh, Tony with uh, Joe Kennedy, and Joe Kennedy's in his bathrobe. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> wow. But we have a, a lot of unpublished photos in the book and some wonderful letters. Now, did you plan on writing a book or you just had so much information? What was the initial <laughs> thought? Well, the initial thought was, well, I think I'll meet Tony. <laughs> the initial thought after a discussion, maybe we'll do an article. We did an article for Yankee Magazine called The Man Who Knew Everyone because Tony, in a sense, is our zealot. I mean, he, has, he was in the dugout with Lou Gehrig. Wow, the good. day Lou Gehrig gave his uh, famous farewell speech on July 4th, 1941. Uh, I am the luckiest man in the world. Well, we have that photo in the book. Wow. So what's interesting about Tony, he has a lot of connections, but also he's got the photos to document so much of this. And, that, and then also lots of letters sure. from uh, Evelyn Lincoln and Bobby Kennedy and uh, Sammy Davis Jr. This is Jr. just fascinating stuff. It, you know, it, I really love this book, mm -hmm. only oh. because it's so funny. A lot of funny stories in it. We're, where can we find the book? Well, it's, um, we know it's at R.J. R. Julia's, of course, okay. Barnes & Noble, online, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. That's pretty we're readily available then, right? Yeah, we're putting it, it's in four formats. Oh, wow. All right, there's a picture of the book. The name, again, is Sinatra and Me, The Very Good Years. Franz, that was great, really fascinating stuff. We could keep going forever. <laughs> we'll have to read I the book, so. I guess. Yeah, we will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for being here. Hey, it's a pleasure. All right. Thank you a whole lot. Sure thing. Yeah. Coming up next, cooking instructor Heidi Lang is here with a delicious recipe for pumpkin soup. That's when style returns. Don't go anywhere. musical ever written returns to the stage where it all began Cow! West Side Story coming to the Waterbury Palace Theater November 24th and 25th for tickets go to palacetheaterct.org
If you're ready to get more from your TV service, now's a great time to get AT&T U-verse TV. Make the switch. Call now to get AT&T U-verse TV for only $29 a month for six months with a total home DVR included free for life. Plus add HBO and Cinemax and get the first three months free. With U-verse TV, you can record four shows at once with a total home DVR that lets you play back, pause, or rewind your shows from any room. Get over 170 HD channels. That's more than cable. Call now to get AT&T U-verse TV for only $29 a month for six months with a total home DVR included free for life. Plus add HBO and Cinemax and get the first three months free. And now exclusively from AT&T, our wireless receiver lets you move your TV where you want around the house, even outside, so you're no longer tied to the TV outlet. AT&T U-verse, TV like you've never seen before. There's nothing quite like pumpkin soup. It has a rich, warm flavor, which makes it perfect for the first course during Thanksgiving. Cooking instructor Heidi Lang is back to share a recipe that is not only delicious, but healthy, too. Heidi, this is starting to smell delicious. Well, the first thing we did is we got these uh, shallots and these onions going, and okay. they're nice and glassy, as you can see, and that's what we want. So that's going to take about five to seven minutes. Okay. So, uh, Teresa, I'm going to just put this a little higher now that they're done. Put those potatoes in. They're going in with the onions They're going there? in. They're sliced thin. There's two potatoes. And the reason for that is that that will thicken and put the salt and pepper in. Sure. That will thicken the sauce without adding more cream than we need to oh, because good. we are keeping it healthy. Yeah, then. we are. And we should mention pumpkin really does have a lot of health benefits. Wow. Pumpkin is one of those perfect foods. It's low in fat, mm -hmm. high in fiber. It has anti-inflammatory qualities, anti-aging qualities, good for our skin. I can rub it all yeah. over my face. <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> or eat it and hope for the best. Okay. Um, also, it um, um, uh, lowers the chances of getting tumors. So there are a lot of good reasons to eat it, but a lot of people don't because it doesn't have a whole lot of taste in its raw form. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why it's great to learn how to make things like soup. So we're going to be using a puree for this. And uh, as we were speaking earlier, if you want to make your own puree, you can boil it or roast it. There are lots of things you can do uh, to, to get the puree in this form and then uh, puree it in a blender. Okay. But it isn't a bad idea to buy some good organic puree in a can. I'd rather you make the soup mm -hmm. than not, uh, than go buy it um, um, over the counter. So once these are done, another minute or so, we're just trying to get these a little bit warm. Okay. Uh, Teresa, oh, we're going to add, let's just put this a little higher. Sure. We're going to add this. Let me just do this right now. Okay. We're going to add this. And then give us a good stir. Sure. Now this is the, the broth. This is the broth, the okay. chicken broth. If you are vegetarian and you'd like to use uh, vegetable broth, not a problem at all. Okay. It will have a different flavor, but also superb. Still good. Superb. Okay. Now after this boils for about 15 minutes, okay. uh, we're going to let it go to a boil. Um, we would uh, then put in the ginger, the cinnamon, and a little cayenne. If you don't like spicy food. You gives can eliminate it. Kick, huh? it. Gives it a little kick. We'd add a little more salt, and then we're going to add these pears. And the reason for that, Ooh. yeah, a pear, uh, a pumpkin needs some kind of sweetness to it. So instead of using a lot of sugar, mm -hmm. I thought it was much better to use pears. I like that so idea. So this is a really healthy soup. And then in the end, we're going to add some creme fraiche. Creme fraiche is um, not quite as sour as sour cream, but if you want to use sour cream, that's okay too. If you want to eliminate this and have like the healthiest soup ever. Uh, um, you a dollop is never going to yeah, hurt anyone. Yeah, I know there's eight ounces in here. This soup serves eight to ten. I highly recommend it. Okay. okay? So after the soup is done, uh, this boils. Mm -hmm. We add the peppers. I mean, excuse me, the pears and the ginger. Ginger is key. How did you get the ginger like this? Ah, uh, okay. So we have uh, this immersion blender that also comes with a chopper. Oh. And we just put in a little chopper, and it just goes zzz, and before you know it, we Easy. have this ginger. Okay. If you don't have that and you want to use powdered ginger, dry ginger, by all means. So, voila. This is what the soup will look like, this Ooh. gorgeous, gorgeous fall color. And I thought it'd be nice to show everybody how to use an immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, I always tell my students it's one of the best tools in a kitchen. It doesn't get messy. I feel like it might go... It doesn't. I'll show you. <laughs> uh, Maybe just when I'm doing it. So you want one that has two powers, low and high. Okay. And you would, all of this stuff would still be kind of solid, right? This is already smooth. And we would just make this sound. But as you can see, I'll stop talking for a second. 
especially if you have a deep pan, it won't splash. Sure. And what's great about this is if you use a food processor, now you've got six other tools that are, already dirty, that are right? dirty and all these pieces and parts. So I like using this because it saves me a lot of time. Easy cleanup. Yeah, and we don't want to spend more time in the kitchen. We want to spend time with our guests. That's true. Let's talk about Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh, how do you prepare for this? It seems like it would be overwhelming. I've never cooked a Thanksgiving mm. dinner. You know, even for me, and I'm having 23 people over, it is, wow. can be overwhelming. <laughs> so the key is to plan ahead. Okay. Uh, so think about make your lists, make your grocery list, your decorating list, and all of those things. And then the most important thing after you have your list mm -hmm. is to think about what you don't want to do. And you could designate that. Oh right? yeah, delegate, delegate, delegate. Don't be proud. If someone says, "What can I bring?" Say, "Dessert, there you appetizer, go. whatever." So that that is key. And then the next thing that's really key mm -hmm. is to make sure that you um, start making things a day or two ahead. Okay. So half of what we have on Thursday will be actually made Tuesday and Wednesday. So that the morning of showtime is really about the turkey. You're just putting that turkey in the oven, yeah, and right? everything is already decorated and everything ready. Well, oh, you all really the things. could do the table at any point, right? Um, not everyone sits at the dining room table. We're doing it today, as a you matter are. of fact. Yeah, <laughs> after. That's fun, though. Do you yeah, do little table evening, seatings? Uh, we do little table seatings. We have all kinds of little baskets and cute things. Look through magazines. Pinterest now, of course, is great right. for ideas. ideas. So always plan ahead and um, and then make sure once the day comes that you have a nice glass of white wine. And you enjoy the day. <laughs> I think that's important. The chef it really needs to is. It is. So much itself. of the time, it's like a wedding. The bride missed the whole thing. So we don't want that to happen. That's so good. when once our guests arrived, last Thanksgiving was probably the best we ever had. People came in and said, Heidi, are we going out to dinner? Because oh, really? Every, yeah, it was incredible. <laughs> it was incredible. That's fantastic. Uh, and you so, enjoyed yourself. And, uh, line. And, yeah, and the only thing that was really still had to be done was the turkey. Well, good advice, so, Heidi. We'll have yeah. this pumpkin soup recipe over on WTNH.com, but we're going to taste it at the end of the show we also. We certainly are. All right. Thanks for being here. Oh, a pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Coming up next, you know her and love her on The Chew. Recently, I talked to Carla Hall about her new cookbook. We'll share that interview after the break. Don't go anywhere. Medical marijuana. It's now legal in Connecticut. But who will regulate it and who will dispense it? If you've got questions like these, News 8's got your back. Tonight at 11. When you've got a concern, I want to know about it. When you've got a problem, I'm going to try and solve it. I work for News 8. Which means I work for you. If you have an appliance that needs a repair, call All Parts. Now introducing in-home service. All Parts can fix any appliance, old or new, any make, any model, any brand, anytime. Washers and dryers and everything in between. One call and they can fix them all. Every repair comes with the All Parts promise. A full two year, no problem guarantee. So why buy new? Call before 10 for same day service. All parts, all appliances, all service, all the time. America fell in love with Chef Carla Hall when she cooked her way into the season five finale of Bravo's Top Chef. Her fans get to see her every weekday now on ABC's The Chew. Carla joins me now to talk about her debut cookbook, Cooking with Love, Comfort Food That Hugs You. Welcome, Carla. This is so exciting. I love the title. Oh, thank you, thank you. And I, I want people to feel that it's approachable, mm -hmm. first of all, and, uh, and it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Sure, Carla, let's hear a little bit about you. I know you grew up in Nashville, but how did you start cooking? Who taught you how mm -hmm. to cook? Um, well, I didn't even start cooking until I was about 30 years old, I mean, well, about 25. But I had really good food. You know, the funny thing is, in the South, my mother didn't like to cook. My father cooked. Everyone, my grandmother cooked. Um, they cooked so well, sometimes the, the side effect of that or the consequence of that is that you don't have to cook because you're just <laughs> eating all of this really good food. 
And so my grandmother, going to her Sunday suppers every day, I mean, every week, it was like amazing. So I think I, I grew to appreciate her food and really good food and food that felt like it was hugging you, you know. <laughs> now, um, when it comes to cooking your own food, describe your style for us. Well, first of all, my first um, course of action is wanting to do it because if I don't want to cook, it's not going to be good. And I tell everyone out there, if you're not in a good mood, the only thing you should make is a reservation. <laughs> and, that's great. And that's the first thing. Yeah, you have to want to do it. And, and so I, I am present. When I'm making my food, I am present. If I'm peeling a carrot, I'm thinking, I am here, I'm peeling a carrot. You know, I'm not trying to rush through it. Mm -hmm. So I, mean, I think that's the key. And I, and I want to, to nurture people with food. Now, Carla, uh, your new cookbook, we see it right next to you. What are some of your favorite recipes in it? Oh, wow. Um, the um, smothered pork chops, the slow-cooked smothered pork chops that my grandmother did. Um, I love the skillet cornbread, which is flourless. It is not fat-free, but it is flourless. Um, the desserts, my grandmother's five flavor pound cake, which she used to send to all of the grandkids. So when I'm in college, when I was in college, she would send this cake and it would be wrapped in, you know, plastic and wax paper and foil and, <laughs> and paper towels. And I mean, it took you probably a day to unwrap it, but it was so good. And that's in the, that's in the book. Very good. Now, I understand you also include catering tips like Carla. Can you give us some of those examples? Yes. Yeah, for instance, if you're feeling, let's say you have a party and you need to fill your soup bowls or like little um, serving soup in um, little shot glasses or espresso cups, the best thing to do is to put it in a pitcher. You're like, <laughs> you pour it. Um, or if you're doing um, uh, the, the pastry bag, putting, putting or filling things, but you're putting it in a pastry bag versus going from the spoon to the bowl, spoon to the bowl, spoon to the bowl. I know I can do that 10 times. <laughs> So that also is very quick. Searing meat in a pan and finishing it in the oven, that's sort of a, a restaurant trick. Um, so those are some of the, the tips that I give you. And it's just to make your life easier and more efficient. Yeah, they're very helpful. Now, the two airs right after Connecticut style, and it seems like you and your co-hosts have a lot of fun. You're, you have great chemistry. What's it like to work on the show, besides all the great meals you get to have? Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. It's a party. It truly <laughs> is a party in the kitchen. And I think the more that everyone becomes comfortable with each other, the more that we are ourselves, we learn so much more about people, uh, about each other, that you don't, you don't know where the show's going to go. Some, what's so funny is sometimes I'm like, you know what? And they're like, oh Lord, what is she going to say? They have no <laughs> idea, but because I'm feeling comfortable, yeah, I don't even know sometimes what I'm going to say, but you just feel that you're supported. So wh wherever you are, you know they're going to accept you, and we're just going to go with it. Yeah, it's, and it's just a beautiful thing. And you, a lot of times, as the viewer, you're watching all of this happen and unfold. It's so much fun to watch. Now, I have time for one last question. I want to ask you, are you getting ready for Thanksgiving? Are you cooking a big feast this year? I am. Thanksgiving is at my house this year, so I am planning. I'm going to introduce a couple of dishes. Mario's doing this Alsatian Thanksgiving. Who knows? I, it, it inspires me to do something out of the box, but I have to do some of the tried and true dishes because I don't want there to be a mutiny, you know, in my house. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to it. Very good. All right, Caller, we're out of time. The name of the cookbook is Cooking with Love. Thank you so much for being here. We really enjoy your show here. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Have a good weekend. You too. More Connecticut style after the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Save big this Black Friday at your local Goodwill. Shop on Friday, November 23rd to save 50% on your entire purchase. Visit ctgoodwill.org for participating stores. Good stuff, good price, goodwill. At Carter Mario, most of our clients call us within four days of their car accident. Why? Because they know the clock is ticking to get the money they deserve. And they know the right medical care now could mean a faster recovery. So how long's it been since your accident? And how long have you put off calling a lawyer? Don't wait any longer. Get Carter right now. 1-800-900-6700.
Wow. You want to start the day with something heart healthy and delicious? You're a talking bee. Honey Nut Cheerios has whole grain oats that can help lower cholesterol. And it tastes good? Sure does. Right. Wow. Delicious, right? Yeah. It's the honey. It makes it taste so... Well, would you look at the time? What's the rush? Be happy, be healthy. Save big this Black Friday at your local Goodwill. Shop on Friday, November 23rd to save 50% on your entire purchase. Visit ctgoodwill.org for participating stores. Good stuff, good price, goodwill. The new song, It's Thanksgiving, hit YouTube a little more than a week ago, and the video already has more than 9 million hits, but not everyone's giving thanks for the song. ABC's David Wright has more. It's Thanksgiving. She's 12, she's got a turkey leg, and boy is she thankful. Nicole Westbrook has a hit. Thank you, thank you. Since this pint-sized Martha Stewart served up her YouTube video last Wednesday, its Thanksgiving has racked up 4 million views. More than 9,000 thumbs up. I gotta give thanks to you and you and you. But more than 70,000 thumbs down. A lot of people seem to think this song's a turkey. Some are even calling it the worst song ever. As Thanksgiving dinners go, this one's kind of bizarre. Where are the grown-ups, for one thing? I don't know why they weren't there, but I'm kind of glad they weren't. Instead of a family feast, this is more like a tween dance party. And who's that guy? The guy who wrote the song and produced the video, that's who. Patrice Wilson, the same guy responsible for last year's teen viral video sensation, 13-year-old Rebecca Black. There's no recipe for viral success. You can't necessarily create for it, but you know it when you see it. Rebecca Black also had a tough time from the critics, but also more than 42 million views on YouTube, a number that must make those 800,000 dislikes easier to swallow. Honestly, I don't care what the critics think. And if they can say whatever they want, I mean, they're entitled to their own opinions. Turns out Nicole Westbrook has no idea how to roast a turkey. I usually don't cook, so I don't have many tips for you there. But she sure is thankful for all the attention. But the controversy is, no, what's the, I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. It's no. Just fun. It's like the turkey song, yeah. Sandler song. And, and what's interesting yeah. is, you don't have to turn it on. Yeah, no. don't watch it. I mean, it's exactly. Like, it's true. Yeah. You don't have to listen. No. All right, have we finished out this pumpkin soup, uh, lady? Yes. Um, well, I'm just going to give uh, Fran a, a taste of the soup. Very good. And some for you yes. too, Teresa. Delicious. Franz, one more time, the name of the book and where we could find it. The name of the book is Sinatra and Me, The Very Good Years, and it's uh, uh, R.J. Julia's um, uh, Barnes & Noble and, of course, uh, Amazon. Pretty much ever. All right, we're just about out of time, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Make it a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye. So long. And this is wonderful. Okay.